Good morning guys and girls. It's Saturday the 13th of February 2021, 10.59 in the morning and we are just sat down by our little dam or pond and uh, it's really really full. I actually can't believe how full it is. What I think I'm going to do is blow up the kayak and have a little, uh, a little paddle around. I've got this inflatable kayak which we got from Decathlon, which is like a sports store in uh, Castella Branco. You just blow it up with one of these pumps. You can see two people, it's really quite stable. And um, yeah, it's good fun to use. Take this stuff out, it's unbalancing the boat. Farewell, Mimo. It's been fun knowing you. No, Mimo, don't do it. All right, let's go to the end and then we can come back and do the branches. Cool. Yeah, I definitely need to cut these back. I'm glad I brought those pruning loppers with me. Oh, this is lovely. Hey, who, who needs to uh, who needs to go anywhere when you've got one of these in your farm? <laughs> Basically, I just want to give it a bit of a trim. Uh, I do like some of the overhanging pieces because in summertime. It stops uh, the sun from hitting the water and making algae, so I don't want to take it all off, but I need to take it back a bit. Right, bring me back. So the idea here was to basically um, create like a little bit of, I don't know, just like a little bit of a haircut. I'm not getting rid of all of these trees because obviously I love trees. They also provide shading on the water, especially in the summertime. And they basically stop the water from, uh, you know, becoming green with algae. So it's important to have some shading, but I just wanted to make sure that there's actually a clear path that I can get through so I can do stuff like this, you know, kayak. Now the logs, I've left them floating in the water. Um, they should sink soon. I mean, there's so much stuff in this water already. I'd hate to know what's at the bottom. So until we get it cleared, I'm just going to let it sink in. It'll rot. It's a nice little ecosystem going on in here. The water's actually quite clean. It's basically a well. It's like a giant well. This has got like springs underneath. So I think the water's all right. But yeah, really, really peaceful, peaceful morning activity. So this is that pipe. Um, there's a pipe in this dam that basically siphons out into our bottom field. And I've never found the end before. 
And I think, I think I've just found it. Yes, I have. Look at that. Found the end of the pipe. I know, it's just by the wall. It's just, there's nothing on the end. It's just a pipe with an end on. There's no like filter or anything. Okay, so it's 10 past 2 on uh, Saturday the 13th of February 2021. It's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, blue skies, uh, 17 degrees. It's really, really, really nice. It's like the first day that it really feels like spring is hitting. Uh, anyway, we're on our way to film a virtual tour for Harrod. Hey dude. Um, we're basically going to be doing a property tour for him because he can't get here right now. So he's, uh, he's commissioned us to go there. We're going to do like a little walkthrough tour. Uh, nice and COVID safe as well because uh, there's no contact with other people and uh, yeah if there's anyone else who's sitting at home uh, you're somewhere where you can't get to Portugal you've got properties that you desperately want to go and look at but you can't quite get here at the moment then send us a direct message or an email and uh, let us know what you're after and maybe we can make up a quote for you and if you like it we can go and film the property for you obviously we've got a lot of experience filming properties now um, there's another thing that we are offering at the moment and that's where you can get together with us on Zoom and you can chat to Gina and I about anything to do with how to move to Portugal, how to matriculate your car, even if you just have questions about like, you know, how did you guys do it? Did you feel stressed and anxious or whatever it is, you know, if you want to talk about moving to Portugal, uh, I think Gina and I are quite qualified to speak about it. We've pretty much gone through the whole thing and banged our heads on the steps on the way down. So, um, yeah, so let us know comments below not the comments below sorry don't write in the comments below send us an email or a direct message and uh, now we can work something out for you we've had a pretty good day we went and recorded a property um, it was an interesting place had a couple of issues but it was an interesting place and now it's um, 20 past 5 uh, the sun's going down it's absolutely beautiful smells um, of chamomile smells of chamomile yeah <laughs> and we're actually on our way down to our bottom field and we're going to go and check out the frog spawn because there's a whole bunch of froggy eggs inside the pond at the bottom of our field. It's been such a glorious day today. T-shirt weather, t-shirt and shorts weather. It's been amazing. A real taste of spring to come. So Gina's found some froggy eggs. Um, Gina, do you want to do some hand modeling for us? And basically put your hands through the slimy froggy eggs. Mm, not really. So those are froggy eggs and they're basically like a gelatinous mess. Um, and each of those little black things is going to develop into a tadpole. Mimo. Wait for them to be born at least until you start eating them. 
silly dog. Oh, by the way, Gina's actually holding my beer so that I can film. She's not actually drinking a oh. litre of beer. Hey, Gina. No, I don't like this stuff. Yeah. So there's lots of this frog spawn all over the place. A little bit down here, and there's another big one up here. You can see this. This is all frog spawn. And at night time we have just an incredible noise of all of the frogs coming out here and spawning and... Maybe we should come down here tonight. Maybe they'll all be in this bit. Yeah. Up there, there. Mmm, tasty. Tasty frog eggs. Yum yums. So I think we should go back here tonight and um, see if we can capture with a torch any of the frogs coming down here and spawning because that could be pretty cool. I'm not sure if they've already finished because the water behind us here is starting to dry up. Uh, tadpole eggs take anywhere from sort of three days to about a month I believe to sort of develop, become tadpoles, then grow little legs and arms and then become frogs. So it could be a while until, until they do. Maybe that's going to dry up and they're going to die before it all happens. But uh, yeah, so let's go down tonight, have a look. Another thing I want to do is have a look and see what's happening in our dam. Because we went there last night and we shone the torch in and we couldn't believe it. We saw a whole bunch of goldfish. I'm talking like everywhere that we pointed the torch, it looked like there was about 20 or 30 goldfish. Mimo has learned how to catch moles. She smells them through the ground, starts to dig, and just plucks them right out of the ground and eats them. It's kind of useful. I feel bad for the moles, but at the end of the day, you don't really want them going through your vegetable garden. But she's right on it there. Look at that. This is such a gorgeous time of year. It's uh, not too hot, not too cold. You know, we can see that spring is on the way and all of the flowers are coming out, all the buds are starting to come out. It's really beautiful. So all the chickens are going to bed. They're slowly making their way up onto the perches here. And uh, we've got Mama Hen over here. She's in her little box with her little babies. And her babies are steadily getting too big for this box. Pretty soon they won't be able to sleep with her anymore and they'll have to sleep with the rest of the chickens. Okay, so we're outside. We're down by our bottom dam and we're going to go and see if we can see goldfish. The problem is I'm going to walk down here with a torch. Oh yes, I, I can actually see some. So we're going to walk down here with a torch and hopefully we're not going to disturb them. Um, but yeah, I can see some. This camera is desperately searching for focus. <laughs> There's a big one. There's a huge one. Oh my goodness. That one was massive. I mean, that one was honestly like the size of my foot. Wow, there's a huge goldfish in there. Oh, there's one there. Okay. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick him up though. There we go. Shine your torch slightly off him. So in the center of the screen, you can see that orange thing. Slightly off a little bit more. There we go, I can see them a bit better. Oh, so we've got some goldfish. So, um, we've got like a bright torch in our <laughs> face here, but there's some goldfish inside our dam, which is pretty awesome. Tina's having another look. Yeah, they will come back out again. <laughs> Have they? Oh, there's two down there. Oh. I think they'll be back. Well, they must have been a big one. Just 
made a ripple over there. Wow. I think once we come back up for the froggies, we'll see them again. Okay. So yeah, we're going to head our way down to the to the bottom field, which is all the way down in that direction, and uh, hopefully capture some froggies spawning. Right, I can start to hear the frogs now. This bottom field is just full of them. something magical about walking around on this farm at night time. Uh, right now because we've got all the torches going you won't be able to see these these clouds sorry not clouds but uh, stars um, well stars and clouds but there's just this amazing blanket of of clouds and these stars just pricking through this pitch black sky Alright, so now we're on the hunt for frogs. Doesn't seem as loud down there as... No. You're right, it's, it's gone quite quiet down here. Maybe all the frogs have done their... Um, look, ma uh, Masak's laying, la well, laying some frog eggs. Look. Oh, dog, dog. Funny. He's putting frog eggs down. We've been deceived all this time. It wasn't the frogs, it was the dog. The steam coming off the water. Okay, so we're down here by the... Um, by this little pond area. Um, we've got some frog eggs here, but they've already been done a while ago. Um, I think we filmed them earlier on today. And I'm not seeing any frogs. I am putting my boots deeper than they go. <laughs> so that's going to be a little bit chilly in a moment. Oh well I'm kind of disappointed, I was expecting. And we're going to come down here and just see a whole bunch of frogs and toads all spawning and perhaps that happened the other night. It sounded like there was lots in the front field. The front field, okay. Yeah. There's no water there though. Uh, it's quite damp. Oh, ducks, okay. Yeah, so Gina thinks there's frogs on our driveway, um, so we're going to try there, and then um, and then we'll go back to the dam. Oh well, look, there's a salamander, or whatever they're called. Where? Yeah. There. I don't see where there is. Oh, it's right down. So that's a salamander. Nice. I was hoping we'd see some fish in here, but we don't. 
Okay, so we're going to head on down to the dam and we're going to see if we can see some goldfish now. Okay, so we're at our dam now. I'm just going to, oh wait, I'm shining on. So what I've got to do here is I've got to block off the torch because I don't want to scare the fishies away. So I don't know if you can see those goldfish. So there's a goldfish right there. Another one right there. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of goldfish. So we put 10 goldfish in here about 14 months ago. And now we have a lot. Now it's been quite difficult to see them on the camera here, but when we came down last night, we honestly counted about at least 50. Uh, and there were loads more that just flew away before we got there. Yeah, we have one more trick in our sleeve and that's uh, the water tank next to the house that has 10 goldfish in or had 14 months ago and now it has loads so let's go down there with the torch and see if we can capture some of those and there we go there's there's two um, look on them. yeah as soon as they see light they just run away but we did see two i know that there's tons in here though 